Have you ever looked in the mirror and felt that pang of concern when you see a little more scalp than usual? Trust me, you're not alone. Hair loss is something millions of people grapple with, and it can be incredibly frustrating. But what if I told you there's a potential solution that harnesses the power of light itself? We're talking about red light therapy, a non-invasive treatment that's rapidly gaining popularity. How does red light therapy work? Is it backed by science? And most importantly, can it really help you regain your crowning glory? Stick around, because in this video, we're diving deep into the world of red light therapy for hair growth. I'm going to separate the facts from the hype so you can make an informed decision about whether this treatment is right for you. So let's break it down. So, what exactly are we talking about when we say red light therapy? Well, it's not as simple as shining your average red light bulb on your head and hoping for the best. Red light therapy, also known as low-level laser therapy or LLLT, utilizes specific wavelengths of red and near-infrared light. These particular wavelengths have the unique ability to penetrate the scalp, reaching those precious hair follicles. Once these red and near-infrared light waves reach the scalp, they're absorbed by the cells residing there, kind of like plants absorbing sunlight for photosynthesis. This absorption of light energy triggers a fascinating chain reaction within the cells. This sets off a cascade of biological processes that scientists believe can have a significant impact on hair growth. Now let's get down to the cellular level and understand how red light therapy actually encourages hair to grow. Imagine your hair follicles as tiny factories working hard to produce hair. Like any factory, they need a constant supply of energy to function at their best. This therapy specifically targets the mitochondria of the cells, which are essentially the powerhouses responsible for generating energy. By stimulating the mitochondria, red light therapy enhances their ability to produce something called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. This ATP is like the fuel that powers all cellular activities. With an increased supply of ATP, the hair follicles receive a much-needed energy boost. This boost translates into a few key benefits for hair growth. It promotes cell repair, ensuring that damaged cells within the hair follicles are fixed and functioning optimally. It helps reduce inflammation, which is often a culprit in hair loss. And finally, it can stimulate dormant hair follicles, nudging them back into the antigen phase, the growth phase of the hair cycle. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dr. Kumar, this all sounds promising, but is there any scientific evidence to support these claims? And that's a perfectly valid question. We don't want to just rely on anecdotal evidence. We want solid scientific backing for any treatment we consider. And the good news is when it comes to red light therapy for hair growth, there have been multiple studies showing promising results. Clinical trials investigating the efficacy of red light therapy devices have shown some encouraging outcomes. Individuals using these devices consistently have reported noticeable improvements in hair density and thickness. While more research is always being conducted, the existing studies suggest that red light therapy could be a viable option for those struggling with hair loss. It's not a magic bullet, but the science behind it is certainly compelling. Now, you might be wondering, is red light therapy right for me? It's a great question, and the answer depends on the type of hair loss you're experiencing. Red light therapy has shown the most promising results for individuals dealing with androgenetic alopecia. You might know this better as male or female pattern baldness, which is the most common type of hair loss worldwide. This type of hair loss is often caused by a combination of genetics and hormones, but it's not just for those with androgenetic alopecia. Red light therapy can also be beneficial for individuals with other types of hair loss such as alopecia areata, an autoimmune condition where the body attacks its own hair follicles. Additionally, if you're experiencing hair thinning due to aging, stress, or hormonal changes, red light therapy might be worth considering. So, let's say you're interested in trying red light therapy. What does that actually look like? Well, thankfully you don't have to go to a clinic for every treatment session. There are actually several types of red light devices available for at-home use, which makes it incredibly convenient. Some popular options include laser combs, caps, and helmets. Laser combs are exactly what they sound like. Combs equipped with red light diodes that you run through your hair. Caps are worn on the head and cover the entire scalp, while helmets offer a more comprehensive treatment by encompassing the whole head. Sessions with these at-home devices are typically short and sweet, lasting around 10 to 20 minutes each. 
Most experts recommend using red light therapy two to three times per week for several months to start seeing noticeable results. One of the most common questions I get about red light therapy is about its safety, and that's completely understandable. But here's the good news. Red light therapy is generally considered safe when used as directed. Unlike some medications for hair loss, which can come with a laundry list of potential side effects, red light therapy is non-invasive and doesn't carry the same risks. The wavelengths used in red light therapy are in the visible and near-infrared spectrum, which are considered safe for human tissue. While it's generally safe, a small percentage of people might experience mild scalp irritation. Now let's talk about expectations. It's important to go into any treatment with realistic expectations, and red light therapy is no different. Results can vary from person to person, and there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Some individuals might start noticing improvements in hair density, thickness, and even new hair growth within a few months of consistent use. Others might require longer treatment periods to see noticeable changes. Several factors can influence the effectiveness of red light therapy. These include the severity of your hair loss, your individual response to treatment, and how consistently you adhere to the recommended treatment schedule. It's not an overnight solution. It's a gradual process that requires dedication and consistency. So, there you have it, the lowdown on red light therapy for hair growth. While it's not a miracle cure, it offers a promising, safe, and non-invasive option for those looking to stimulate hair growth. With consistent use, it could help you regain thicker, healthier hair. Remember, everyone's journey with hair loss is unique. It's always a good idea to consult with a qualified healthcare professional to determine the best course of action for your specific situation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more evidence-based health and wellness tips, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Until next time, stay healthy and keep shining.